Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fail here. Welcome back to a Crusader's Quest. Today we are going to take a look at Child and Pius, the uh, Daybreak Contract um, Limited Time Heroes. So, yeah, Limited Time Heroes as after the uh, collaboration straight up. So, yeah, really cool. Now the first one is Star Devourer Pius. So the got little dragon looking dude. He actually looks really cool. I really like his design. Probably one of my favorite one. And his illustration is just ooh, real nice. He got a big ass some sort of a hammer or a great sword or some sort. And he's got a tail. So yeah, he is a dragon. So yeah, really cool. I really like his thing. Right, let's have a look at his block skill. So Talon Gash is his block skill. The hero dashes forward and thrusts down their sword. Deal physical damage equals to 300, 500, 900% of attack power according to chain number of used. And a crouching dragon is a uh, passive type, it's support type of course. So after using Talon Gash, the hero becomes a crouching dragon. The hero's armor and resistance are increased by 100% for 5 seconds. This status cannot be dispelled. And the hero deals physical damage equals to 500% of their attack power every 0.1 seconds to the enemy within range. For 1 second after using Crouching Dragon, the hero pulls in all the enemies within range and ends Crouching Dragon. Okay. If there are any enemies that are still outside the range, the hero dashes forward that enemy for 1 second and ends Crouching Dragon. After ending Crouching Dragon, the hero uses Dragon Trash for to deal physical damage equals to 3000% of their attack power. To nearby enemies if the hero as a crouching dragon is knocked into the air the hero ends crouching dragon and enters anata for three seconds and in anata the hero receives 30 percent more damage so yeah we don't want to be knocked up so for the sbw upon using an ally special skill while the hero is crouching dragon the hero uses killing aura for three seconds enemies within the range of killing aura receives 20 percent percent more damage and lose attack power by 15 percent and this attacks three times so really cool killing aura is dispelled at the end of crouching dragon so it does cancel at the end of it at the end of crouching dragon the hero attack power and critical damage is increased by 70 percent for five seconds and if the dragon trash is activated the hero generates azure lotus for three seconds to deal additional physical damage equals to 800 percent of their attack power every 0.2 seconds my goodness so long so yeah, we don't want to be knocked up because he does take 30% more damage, which is really interesting as a uh, weakness. Because like, there's quite a fair bit of um, yeah heroes in the Colosseum that would knock him up, so that's not very good. But um, yeah, seems to be uh, in, um, yeah interesting. And his crit chance is actually really high, 60%. So you don't have to build him any crit chance, so you just give him just more attack power, really. So I've given him two crit damage the um, option upgrade and I'm just gonna give you more attack power and a bit more armor penetration so this is a five star of the um, sigils and I've actually got this as the partner so yeah really lucky to have it so yeah I'm just gonna use these two sigils for now for him so yeah really really good and let's have a look what everyone's doing crit oh everyone's got crit chance on him Crit damage and crit chance, but he's already got really high crit chance, so I don't know. Um, yeah, of course, those two and lower level sigils if you don't have the higher ones, and of course, oh, pair it with child and hala. Well, child's already really strong, so I don't know, he don't really need to have her. I guess he is kind of tanky, I guess, but well, he's more of an AoE damage dealer, really. So, interesting to pair him with um, child. Alright, now let's have a look at Child. She is a, a gunner. And there she is. So I have maxed her out. She is one of my main DPS and four events as well. I've got these um, earrings, but it just gives the one second um, physical damage thing. So it doesn't really do much of her um, in terms of attack power. And yeah, same thing. She's got really high crit chance. So yeah, let's have a look at the illustration real quick. But yeah, both of them's got really high um, crit chance. So you don't really have to um, give them any. Um, crit chance, you know, so really good. So, I really like her illustration as well. Just like, uh, like, um, got like that 
Doctor Strange feel to it, the cube thing. So, yeah, I'm giving him double crit damage, of course, and just more attack power for the um, sigils. And I've given her this lifestyle ring because I do use her for Fergus events where you take damage as a reflect from him. So, yeah, she's um, one of my main DPS. So, yeah, let's have a quick look how the captains are building here. So, yeah, this one's got, yeah, crit damage, crit damage. I'm guessing damage reductions for um, Colosseum or Arena. Lifestyle, of course, and of course, yeah, Haruki and Kaide, because, yeah, really good pairing with her, so, yeah, wow, interesting. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at her block skill and passive, so Gravity Compression Cube block skill, so the hero shoots Gravity Compression Cube to deal physical damage equals to 180, 270, and 360% of the attack power according to the chain number used and event horizon is the passive and it is a support type so only one chain enemies hit hit with the gravity compression cubes enter event horizon for five seconds enemies in event horizon loses movement speed and critical resistance by 66 percent if an enemy in event horizon gets near the hero the hero knocks them into the air and knock, then knocks them back okay Upon activating an ally block skill, the hero deals neutral damage equals to 400% of the hero's attack power. Whoa, to the enemies in Event Horizon, cooldown 0.5 seconds, so very, very short. And for the SBW, upon activating Event Horizon, enemies resistant to knockbacks additionally becomes white dwarves and receives 60% more damage for 5 seconds. Okay. Upon landing gravity compression cubes on an enemy affected by the white dwarf, the hero activates dragon pu pupil to deal neutral damage equals to 667.3% 60, of the attack power. <laughs> okay, 0.3 per hit for 3 seconds. So, um, yeah, really interesting. But yeah, this one is neutral damage when an ally activates a skill. So, really interesting for, for that one. So yeah she's actually really really strong and of course i maxed her out everything so um yeah really really good and yeah let's have a look at them in a challenge mode we shall have a look at pious first so just pairing him with yu wudong and hala because he is still only i-25 so i still don't have enough uh, books at the moment so next time hopefully i'll uh, max him out to yeah i-40 so uh, yeah, he's got potential for um, burst damage. Like he's actually quite strong, even at I twenty five. He can, uh, yeah, he can hold himself. So yeah, not too badly. And he is mostly AOE, so really good for clearing the mobs. Uh, the boss, yeah, not so much burst damage on the boss, unfortunately. But yeah, maybe on the maximum level he'll be able to just yeah pair him up with Kaide and Jang Sun Byom is a damage you gonna cancel it get him out of there there we go and there's a damage wow okay so yeah he's definitely got potential definitely got potential so yeah I'll definitely level him up to the uh, maximum level and yeah see how strong he really is so that was deep mountains and let's go to the uh, pandemonium for the uh, a little bit stronger enemies. So yeah, really interesting. And he dashes forward as well and yeah. I really like his weapon. And the aura that comes out of it. And he's been got a little uh, tornado as well. Oh wow, he's damaging the actual... Yeah, the actual boss, not the, the mask. So he just, yeah. Hits her with that tornado, the blue tornado. Or spinning wheel. Now we got Diva King. Even a Diva King, he's still critting hard. So yeah, really, really good crit. The crit chance is really high for him. So yeah, wow. Look at all the red numbers. Oh, damn. All right, we're up to the God Captain, and yeah, he's got really high, I think, crit resistance. Uh, but he's oh wow. What? That burst damage though at the end. That was really interesting. A little bit unexpected, but okay, we'll take it. There we go. Kyonki. Let's get the mask going. Okay, yeah, he's still critting. 
a lot. So, oh, the mask is gone. There we go. So yeah, we are struggling a little bit for Kyungki. So it's taking him a bit of bit of a time to get to uh, beat him up, but he can't kill us, so don't really matter. Only time will tell. There we go. So took him about a minute. He's still under a, a minute and a half to finish the stage. So that's still really good. 154 million. So yeah, really good. Consistent damage. And of course the very last one, mountains and valleys. Let's have a quick sus, see how strong it is. AoE, and yeah, that AoE is really good for clearing one. Really good. And of course we go to the first boss, one of the five Tiger General. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's holding on pretty good. Ah, this could be a tough, tough, tough fight. Very tough fight here. Come on, okay. That's not too badly, actually. Could be better. Here we go for the second one. Oh, this one's a lot better. Oh, wow. Now he's doing... Oh, wow. That one was really good. He did a lot of damage for that one. Interesting. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is the final boss. There we go. Shield. Don't matter. Yeah. I like how he did the dashes forward to the enemy. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. He's definitely got potential. Let's see how high his num how high his numbers can get up to um, once his max level. And a fantastic Kalad. Yeah, he can't kill us. So, so matter of time before he's dead. Dead, I tell you. There we go. One more. One more. And it's wider. So it took him a minute and a bit. So yeah, still reasonable time. Not as strong as uh, some heroes, but yeah, still reasonable. All right, let's go back to the deep mountains, and we shall change to Child. Now Child is one of my main DPS, and yeah, definitely one of my favorite one. So we'll give her Haruki and Kaide, top um top heroes as uh, most of the captains have been using so this is the most voted one all right here we go so i've just built my haruki as a attack power um, buffer so just base of attack power and yeah six seconds on the first boss as expected by shant and second boss the tiger soldier is gonna shoot us but it don't matter yeah, that event horizon is just it's so good, so strong. And please, beast water, it don't matter. What it are? He couldn't even get near us. And he does have the, um, she does have the knockback as well, Captain. So she, um, yeah, really strong. Samyong, oh, this is the burst damage 24 25 seconds. So yeah, definitely well within under the 30 second mark. So yeah, really strong. And she is all maxed out, Captain, so yeah, really, really strong. Alright, let's go to Opandemonium and yeah, see how she goes here. But yeah, she can definitely clear, like, challenge mode quite easily. And yeah, that long range, we didn't even see the boss, like, she just, yep, yeah, I'm out of here, bye. Like, I think most of these bosses we don't actually get to see. Like, Diva King, maybe? He's got a fair bit of... No, never mind. Never mind. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye, Diva King. See you in the next round. God Captain. Because he will charge on us. Oh, yeah, there we go. But once you get that event horizon... Yeah. That crit is just... Wow. AoE for days, man. Kyunki. Are we gonna see Kyunki? No. Okay, see you. Bye, Kyunki. See you later. Yeah. Easy win. So yeah, 25 seconds. For that one. So yeah, pandemonium, easy peasy. And the very last one. Mountains and valleys. But yeah, same thing. We won't even see the bosses for this one. Just it's ridiculous. Here we go, here we go, he's coming. Nope. He's dead. He's gone. 
just walk past him. Like he doesn't exist. And this guy, second one, nope. He's dead. Gone. Wow. Real quick. I'm like, nah, I'm out of here, man. See the Haruki. See the Kaide. He's like, is that shy? Nah, bro, I'm out, man. I ain't playing with these people. And of course, Fantastic Kaladi with a bit. See her, same thing. Yeah. It's like, nope, I'm out. I'm outy. See you, boys. But yeah, definitely level up for um, yeah, child really strong. And yeah, really versatile too for different um, game modes. So, yeah. If you wanna farm challenge mode for the Sigils Captains, really easy to uh, farm it with, um, yeah child and yeah thank you so much for watching captain so you you guys are having fun and yeah if you guys are uh, still got some extra gems maybe trying to pull for child and pious but that is up to you and yeah thank you so much for your unyielding support as always and yeah welcome to all the brand subscribers hopefully you guys are having fun and i'll probably cover the um rebump heroes so, because we did get a bunch of rebump heroes so yeah, I'll try and see um, how strong they are now. So, yeah, keep uh, keep an eye and look forward to the next video, Captains. And yeah, that is it for now. And good luck on your pulls. Hopefully you guys will get both of them. And yeah, I'm just showing the uh, stats for my other heroes real quick. So if you guys are curious. But yeah, just um, if you get any questions, just write down in the comment section below. And I shall try and get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, th that is it for now, Captain. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all in the next video. Stay safe and yeah, have fun out there. Hopefully you'll get all white horses in your pools. Alright, that is it for now. Bye-bye. Mm,